Hey everybody, welcome back to Dirt Grease Outdoor Peace. We've got another little different video for you today. We're up here on the property. We're going to be moving our one of our old hunting shacks. This is actually my dad built this for me and my sister. What 30, 35 or 30, 38 years ago, I think. On opening day, right, Dad? Yeah, he was uh, he was sitting sitting in the tree stand and thinking about his kids and how they didn't have anything to uh, get under cover waiting for the school bus. So he uh, gave up the hunting and was using some extra material that he had and um, built this built this little shack for us to wait for the school bus. And it sat up by the road for probably, man, who knows, 15, 20 years maybe. And then we brought it back from the road, and then it sat by the house. He actually had a a crow. There was a wounded crow that um, let <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> there was a crow that let him pick it up, and it had uh, didn't have its tail feathers grown out, so it couldn't fly. So we put some screen and stuff in there. We kept the crow in there and uh, until it got big enough where it had tail feathers and could fly and uh, he could- About two weeks. Yeah, a couple of weeks. He could, we could- We could whistle and he would come yeah, back. Yeah, he let the crow go and he's like, well, I guess that's it. And then we'd be out there and he'd whistle for it and the crow would come back. And it would land on the we ground. Couldn't, we couldn't touch him, but he, but he came back. Yeah, we, we couldn't touch it anymore, but it would still come back. And it was neat. We'd had people stop up and be like, hey, check well, this hey, out. Watch this. And I'd whistle <laughs> and then he'd come. <laughs> yeah, that was great. Then, so, he got, then he got wild and that was the end of that. Yeah, then we didn't see him for a while. And even the, uh, we have some old pictures of when the crow would come back and would be on the ground, we'd give it some treats. The dog would be. We had a beagle that would just kind of walk down the driveway with it. It was so funny. And we'd feed it anything. It'd eat crackers, worms, yeah. milk, anything. Yeah. Uh, so then the, the shack sat there for a while and the floor was all rotted on it. So I thought it would make a nice hunting shack. So I built a new floor in it and uh, put it up on uh, four by fours. And these, are, these aren't treated. These are just uh, larch. Uh, Larch post and uh, treated two by four, so what you can see underneath there. And so we're, uh, it's just, it's angled a little bit wrong, and uh, here I'll help you in a minute. It's angled a little bit wrong, and uh, we want to get in a little different position, so uh, we just got to unbolt the ladder. That's what he just did, and then uh, we're gonna move it we're only going probably only going about 40 40 50 yards over here but we're going to angle it from from where it's sitting now we're going to angle it this way more so we can kind of face that that really nice woods that you see that's the neighbors but the deer kind of come up the edge and we don't we don't want to shoot where it's angled now Sometimes when we weren't real comfortable with it, we were actually shooting with a, we're hunting with a shotgun up here because we didn't want, um, we didn't want to shoot towards the neighbor. So we're just getting a little better angle on it and um, just try to make it a little bit more comfortable for us. So uh, we're going to pull the ladder and um, pick this thing up and, and get it moved. I thought there was something else I was going to say about the... Hmm, I can't think of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, also could be used for an outhouse. Oh, this shack is... This shack is funny too because there's uh There'll be a mouse in there sometimes. So when we're up here hunting, we leave uh We'll leave a couple of little snacks for the mouse. <laughs> uh, I got my, my old Kubota... 3940 got that out here today four-wheel drive for the mud and everything got the forks on it 
And I got my poor man's ballast box on there. It's a rear scoop. I just filled it up with concrete. Uh, my rear tires are filled on this, so it's not too bad. Uh, this, this is my dad's old four-wheeler that we fixed up. This is what he rode up. He has a Kubota side-by-side -side too, but this is nice for when it's real wet because it doesn't tear up the soft ground. So that's his hunting rig.
have to pull this in way up. There we go. There we go. You got it? Yep. Here, let me just shut, kick that in a little bit. That's right there. Yep. Is it? Yep. This is where you need one of them power tools. If you got one. <laughs> yeah. Daddy power. <laughs> Finish that up in a row. Hunting today, man? Yep. All right. I'm going up here. <laughs> wait, uh, wait a minute. Snug this on <sighs> nice Chinese bolt. Mm. It wasn't even cranking on it. Well, I'll we'll have to bring a drill and make a new hole, I guess. Oh, okay. Um, it might be okay. Yeah, it's still got. It's okay because it's got a, it's got. A, yeah, a pin on it's it. still holding it. We can we can always drill and add another one. Yeah. There. Right, Matt? Mm-hmm. Well, it's there. It's I wish I wouldn't have drove where we were gonna put it because it kind of rutted it up. But it's we dug underneath the two by fours a little bit and got it sitting level and so it's sitting down there good. So he's gonna climb up in there and. Uh, and then I'm gonna go out in front here and uh, hit some of the stuff with the lopper. I'm waiting for the boss. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is what we ended up with. Doesn't look a whole lot different, but a lot better angle. Well, that didn't go too bad. Uh, we ran into uh, a little bit of mud up there, but that's expected for this time of year. And we just had a bunch of snow and um, everything's melted off and rain and stuff like that. So um, yeah, it didn't go too bad. We're pretty happy with the new location. It's just a, it's just a better angle uh, before we could see some of the houses in the distance and they were but they were probably a half a mile away but we just didn't like looking at the houses and you know thinking about shooting in a direction like that so um, yeah everything went pretty good the tractor lifted it no problem um, I did break that bolt at the end which uh, like my dad said uh, just cheap Chinese bolts and uh, that thing that bolt should have been uh, oh, there's a deer over there that bolt should have been strong enough that you could crank on it and um, it, it should have spun in the wood before it before it broke off so uh, it's got uh, 
it's got part of the shoulder of the bolt through the ladder and um, it's got threads into the into the wood so it's uh, it's not gonna go anywhere I, sometime when we can think of it we'll drill a new hole and uh, put another bolt in there to to hold it but um, I just wanted to thank all the new viewers and subscribers uh, I'm getting uh, getting a lot of good feedback from from peoples and pe peoples I'm getting a lot of good feedback from peoples. <laughs> getting uh, good feedback from people and uh, oh, on this one, I wanted uh, I wanted to, I wanted people to comment and um, and uh, see who's who's hunting out of a an old fashioned tree stand who hunts from the ground and uh and who has a hunting shack we have we have several of these hunting shacks that we've built over the years and uh i just like to get some comments going again and uh have you guys uh say how your season's going if you've got something you could comment and leave a picture of it if you want and um so it'd just be nice to stay in contact with some of the viewers and uh Thanks to all the new subscribers. Uh, if you like the video, make sure you click like, click subscribe, uh, click the notification bell so you can see when my new videos come up. Um, and don't forget to share them. You know, share them, share them with your friends, and uh, share them however you want to share. Them, I guess. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to make sure I thanked everybody for the views because I really enjoy um, seeing the feedback and uh and and watching the views go up and i know it's uh i know there's like-minded people out there watching this and um so yeah i think that's about it for today's video so i again i thank you for uh thank you for watching and being here and uh we'll see you on the next one thanks a lot